the RTX 3060 Ti was just leaked, and more big Navi info. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So starting off with the RTX 3060 Ti, this information comes from the website videocards.com. A link will be in the description below so you can read the whole article as always. And in their article, they went ahead and stated, quote, In October, NVIDIA will introduce GeForce RTX 3070. What NVIDIA did not disclose yet is that they're also planning GeForce RTX 3060 Ti for that month. They then go on to say, quote, NVIDIA has informed AIBs that the plan is to release RTX 3060 Ti in the second half of October. And then they went ahead and provided us with this nice little chart here that shows all of the information they know about the 3060 Ti. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and then we'll discuss it and its possible performance versus the 3070 as well as the new information that we got about Big Navi. So taking a look at the chart here, we can see that the RTX 3060 Ti is going to be based off of the same GA104 die as the RTX 3070. It will have 4,864 shaders, so that's actually 1,024 less than the RTX 3070. And since this GPU has less shaders, it of course will have less tensor cores as well as RT cores, though it does have the same 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, though it will be clocked at just 14 gigabits per second, whereas I believe the RTX 3070 will be 16 gigabits per second. I know they list 14 in this chart here, but I'm, I don't think that's accurate. Now, that's going to be running on a 256-bit bus, so you'll get a total memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second, and supposedly it will draw between 20 and 40 less watts of power, so it's going to be a more power-efficient GPU, which is great for people who are on a budget. Now, seeing all this leaked information is very interesting, but what does it all mean? Well, if we take this 3060 Ti that's supposedly coming out in the second half of October and we compare it to the RTX 3070, they are very similar. However, there's one big difference, and that's the shader count. And so if we compare the shaders on the 3070 to the 3060 Ti, we can see that in theory, the 3070 should be a maximum of 21% faster, though we don't know the base and boost clocks of the 3060 Ti yet. So that's just all theoretical. It could change. Now, that's not a whole lot. And if we take that and we compare it to the 2080 and 2080 Ti, well, the 2080 Ti, according to NVIDIA, should be pretty similar to the 3070. So you're looking at a GPU that's likely pretty close to as fast as a 2080 Ti, more close to say a 2080 or 2080 Super. So we don't know the price of this GPU yet, but I'm willing to guess that it's probably going to come in at around $399, basically 400 bucks. And at that price, you know, it's not too bad of a buy because you're essentially getting a 70 class GPU. It's using the same GA104 die, so that's pretty much exactly what you're getting. And you're getting it at a pretty fair price. Now, just not too long ago, you got, I believe, the 1070 for $380. So just a $20 premium for what is a much faster GPU is actually not that bad of a deal. Now, the 8 gigabytes of VRAM is not great, but it will suffice for now. So I'd like to see 16 gigabytes, but I heard that they are supposedly going to have a 3070 Ti with 16 gigabytes to fight one of the big Navi variants. And speaking of big Navi, let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, there was another article by videocards.com where they showed a image of what is supposedly an RX 6000 series, likely big Navi GPU. And it looks like what we're probably seeing here is an RX 6700 XT. Now, there could be GPUs that are faster than this, or this could be their top flagship model. But what we do know is there are a couple of stickers on this image that give us a little bit more information. It basically tells us that this GPU is going to have what's likely 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, because remember, 6X is supposedly an NVIDIA exclusive, so they probably can't use that. So they're probably using 16 gigabit modules, which is two gigabyte modules, on a 256-bit bus, which unfortunately that means that this GPU, if it is their top-end GPU, isn't going to be incredibly fast. It is probably going to be more like a 3070 competitor because even in a best case scenario, if AMD is able to get their hands on 18 gigabits per second GDDR6 on a 256-bit bus, well, that gets you 576 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And in a more realistic scenario, it'll probably be the same 16 uh, gigabits per second memory that's on the 3070. So you're looking at 512 gigabytes per second. And the problem with that is that 
even if it's up to 576, that's only a little bit more bandwidth than what's available on the 3070. So we're talking about a GPU that simply would not be capable with, no matter how good their compression is for their memory, it won't be capable of competing with something like a 3080 that has 760 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And you gotta keep in mind, AMD seems to struggle with memory bandwidth a little bit more than Nvidia. So it's just very, very unlikely. Now, what I believe we're probably gonna end up getting with Big Navi is something like this. You'll get a 6700, XT or whatever they want to call it and that'll come in with like 10 maybe 15 percent more performance than a 3070 probably closer to 10 percent and it'll have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 and then NVIDIA will slot in an RTX 3070 Ti with 16 gigabytes to compete with it because the 3070 supposedly has a little bit more room on the die as well so then you'll have that battle going on and that'll probably be around the $500 to $550 range. You'll have the 6700 8 gigabyte version competing with the 3060 Ti that we just discussed at around the $400 to $450 mark, and then you'll have the lower SKUs competing with the 3060, so on and so forth. Now, there could be a 72 or 80 CU big, giant, big Navi out there somewhere, but it just seems like as the days go on, it seems more likely that we're probably going to get something that's at, at best a 3070 competitor slash 3070 Ti competitor, which I know is going to be very disappointing for a lot of people. But you got to remember, over the last couple of months, I have been suggesting that they really could kind of disappoint us and give us something that's essentially just the full Xbox Series X die. Because let's be honest, why are they going to go ahead and just put all kinds of extra R&D into making a ginormous GPU if they can't guarantee that gamers are going to buy it? The last couple times they did that, NVIDIA sold way more GPUs anyway, and AMD didn't make a ton of money. So for them, it probably makes a whole lot more sense to just use all that R&D money and just invest it in the consoles and then sell the extra GPUs to us because really, it's a lot more cost-effective way of doing things. And as a looking at it from a business perspective, that's probably what I would do if I was in AMD's shoes because I know that I could make money that way. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about these RTX 3060 Ti and big Navi rumors? Do you think that they're true or do you think that they're completely made up? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you wanna see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.